I'm the Jedi chord master. Actually, I'm no Jedi. I'm just a regular composer, always looking for interactive ways to create and teach music. Music is a language of emotion. And even when it lacks emotion, it still causes people to act and react, which sounds. When I was learning music, I remember my theory teacher saying that a minor chord was sad and a major chord was happy. This is how you identified them back then. And it helped a lot. But hey, it just died there. Whatever happened to the other chords? Where were the mad chords, the angry chords, the silly chords, the evil chords? What about the depressed, the cool chords? And what about the intervals? I mean, like the infamous one, the trito. I've been working with these emojis in my teachings because they work. In today's world, that is how we communicate in our everyday life. And why not to take advantage of this? It's an amazing tool. Not only to assign emotions to intervals, chords, dynamic markings, or entire passages of pieces of music. So I began playing around with those, assigning chord types to emojis. And hey, I think it just might help out a little bit of ear training. I had the luck to learn music by ear, just like we learn languages. First I learned how to speak, let's say, and then I learned how to write. So when I went to college, I landed a job as a tutor in theory and ear training. I was so shocked to hear students not be able to sing back any melody that they heard, but they could play their instruments better than anybody and sight read like crazy. Part of music learning's most valuable tools is memorization. We really rely on muscle memory, which means the better we get at ear training, the better off we will be. But as with anything we learn, it is helpful to use methods of association. And the minor is sad and major is happy is good. It's just not good enough. I think emoticons are perfect because of their playfulness and they're kind of over the top and silly. They are exaggerations. And it's been proven over and over again that the more exaggerated a mental picture of something, the more we can remember things. That is how we learn. That's how we remember. In my Vox exploration classes, I get students to think of music as if they were performing a play, a theater play. And they have characters to act out their parts and their emotions. I get a lot more from putting this in front of them than this or that. In my own composing, I've been writing an entire work called Emoticons that have contrasting character based on emojis that show up all over the place. And I constructed the piece by first using stickers of emojis and placing them randomly on a piece of paper. Then I started finally writing the music. Well, it was a very cool experience because I would never have thought to write music that way. It's definitely something I might try in the future again because it filled the side of my creativity that I had never explored before. I'll definitely let you know when this is premiered and there'll definitely be a cool video about it for you to see. So you might as well want to take advantage of the subscribe button on my channel so you can be notified. Thank you so much for watching.